So, let's start this one. It is going to be long. And it's going to have a lot of moaning. Sorry about that. Well, I don't know where to start. Everything that could went wrong, went wrong. About the painting process and the editing process. So let's start talking first about the editing. And after that, we go on the other things. It's not all bad, just to say it. But I promised myself that I would upload on YouTube even my failures so I can show you guys all the process and everything that I am about art. Our values are also art. I still don't know if this paint is a value or not. I will put down to you guys everything. So let's start. The technical problem was that the whole time of the painting was 31 minutes and it's too long for my tasting. Even what is right now, it's still too long for my tasting. But I, the speedy video was 20, 31 minutes, by the way. And I thought I would do the same thing and would work out the same way my Guirai painting did. I went on the editor program I use and I speeded the video a little bit more and it did not work out at all. The painting became like a stop motion, you know, static. With the, there was no fluidity of the brush while painting and it was really, really annoying. And until right now, I don't know why it did happen because I did the same thing on my Guida painting and it went pretty fantastic and it speeded up just as anything and it went well, but I don't know why this one did not. If any of you guys know an explanation for it, please help me, I'm really in need. The program I use for editing is KindMaster on my phone. I basically do everything on my phone and if you, any of you guys have an answer that could help me, it would be very much appreciated. So what I had to do so I could post this painting was to make a collage practically. I cut out any and every part I could and I could reduce the video from 31 minutes for 19. So it's really successful, I was proud of myself for doing that, but annoying all the same. So now that all the technical stuff is off our shoulders, let's talk about the painting. Okay? Like I said, I don't know where to put this painting. It is on my successful pile or it is in my failed pile. Because there are some aspects of this painting that I like very much. I learn a lot doing that and most in techniques of painting that I did not use before and just did by accident in this painting and really like it. Some effects are really great. But it also has a lot of things that bugs me a lot. But let's put it in parts. First let's talk about the background. The technique I use for the background are one of my favorite to do skies. And one of my favorite paintings of mine, my Phoenix God painting, is done with this effect and it looks freaking awesome. I always knew that when I was going to paint this, this idea I had for this painting, the dancing girl and the tiger, I knew I wanted this effect for the background. And the effect really worked and I love it mainly the way the house and the light. The colors in it work really well, the orange and the magenta together. But in the background, what did not go the way I wanted was the tree. It looks fine, it looks great even. But I made the mistake of not putting a round paint for it and did not do a layer of highlights and shadows and some surface to it put the line work I did over it. And by consequence, this tree looks a little bit off and it is just line work. It does not look like a tree on the spec. Maybe it look, does work with the background, but one of the other things that bugs me a lot 
is that the background and the foreground of this painting does not look like it belongs to the same painting. And I think that was a mistake. And one mistake that, looking at the painting, I still do not know how to make it work in future paintings. I know that I'm not going to do anything of this again and I'm going to fix on one style of painting throughout the painting. I think maybe that's the way I'm going to resolve the problem of it, but mixing two styles of the way I painting was something that I wanted to get right and I could not do in this painting. Anyway, for two separate paintings, if I could separate the two paintings, the background looks really good, but they do not work together. About the foliage and the foreground of the painting, one of the greatest techniques I discovered painting this painting was doing the foreground. I really like the techniques I use it to do the foliage, but I make the mistake of putting down the first layer completely wrong. I should have used the lightest colors, the brightest colors, and I make the mistake of doing a very grayish green in the middle of it that make the looks of this painting very muddy, very dulled down. That was not the look I was going for this painting. After that, all the layers I put over it, I could not undo what I did and had to work around the mud I made. The good side was that I loved the way I painted it and the techniques I used to paint in it looked really awesome and I can see future paintings being done as with the same technique and working really well and look, having the look I want for my paintings. One of the other things that I really really loved is the thing I most love about this painting was the way I did the tree behind the dancing girl. Man, it was not planned. The way that looks really awesome is some of the things that, like on the gray painting I did, the background I really love it and I was wanted it to be a trademark of mine. The same thing I can say about this tree. That it's the strongest reason why I don't know if I can call this painting a value at all. Because the tree looks fantastic and looks unique. It's a most abstract looking and I want to do it again and it's something that I'm really 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 proud of. So the most reason that I can't say this painting is a failure is because of that. It looks really good. Also, the little spiky foliage things I did, I don't know how to call that. It looks really awesome. It was another technique that I really like it. And like I say, if I did not mess up the colors I did on the first layers, maybe this painting would be another completely different thing in my eyes. So, about these techniques I use it that I like it a lot, the first one in the foreground brushes, popping of the brush in the paper that I did with a lot of water and pigment that I could give it a foliage-like texture in the paper was something I really like it, but it's something that I'm a little bit worried about, because that seems the only brush that does it very good is my Kalinsky brushes because of how much water it can hold. And so you guys know, Linsky brushes is really expensive. And I could not do a good job with any of the brushes I tried because I did a lot of tests in this painting. I used a lot of my brushes and the only one that could do it right was the Kalinsky one. I'm a little bit worried how my brushes is going to hold up with this technique because it looks really good and I really like it a lot doing that and I want to do it again but I'm very worried that I'm going to mess up my brush because of that. It's a half L one. It's really expensive. Even if I buy it on Jackson and it's a lot cheaper than it would be if I bought it in Brazil, it is still a knife in my heart. So I'm still thinking how I'm going to do. If you guys know any brand of Kalinsky brushes that are good, that I can use, or any, even if it's not Kalinsky, it can be, it can be a synthetic brush that can hold really good amount of water. I would love if you could give me a helping hand. And the other technique that I used 
like doing the spikes, like I say, the spike leaves, the long leaves in the brushes, it was using a semi-dried pencil. It gives great texture and, and thankfully it does not damage my brushes at all. And about the tree that I'm pretty much like it a lot. It was the same techniques about the spiky leaves. It was doing a semi dried brush and doing a different movement of the leaf falling, the long leaf falling, and how it was a lot. The wet part was mixing with each other and getting darker, and it gave a lot of the visual I wanted in it because it looked very abstract and gave it a feeling very ethereal that I like the way it looked. From that, I could do other layers like detailing the parts that would be darker may can't say that doing negative painting almost like giving that i don't know how to say how to put it here in pretty words how i could say to demonstrate how this painting the look of this painting go but it's the way i wanted to do and it's a very beautiful way of doing leaves and the tree trunk also, it was a win for me. It looks really awesome. That detail I did, it most of doing line work, of doing texture line work to make it look like a pine tree. It's basically, this tree is a pine tree, by the way. Uh, some kind of pine tree that we have in Brazil. I don't know if it's native from here. Like, like I always say, I have to put something about Brazil in my paintings, or it's something of my everyday life, it's... And by the way, one thing that I wanted to say, and I'm going to say before I forget and don't put it in this video, it's like in the Green Away video, when I say that I'll, most of the things I paint is from Brazil, is from China, it, may, it seems like I say that I have some kind of Chinese irritation. Actually, I don't. I just admire it very much. I'm a pretty big fan of Chinese online novels and also Chinese dramas. I started watching dramas when I was a teenager and I always liked a lot K-dramas. But Chinese dramas has getting bigger, a bigger space in my heart each time it passes because they are opening their games in the drama sphere and I'm loving everything they are putting out. I'm actually watching a lot more Chinese dramas than watching Korean ones right now. But what really got me into Chinese culture was light novels, web novels that has a lot in the internet. I don't know if you guys of any of you ever saw it, but it's pretty awesome, like Chinese fantasy. I love the Chinese system fantasy, like the cultivation system, the Jianhu, you can say that. I really love it and it really inspired me by doing fan art or original from the team itself. Chinese culture is pretty awesome and I admire it very much. I also admire, like I say, uh, Korean culture and Japanese culture. I call it the Holy Trinity of Asia, uh, China, Korea and Japan. I grew up watching animes. You guys maybe can guess artsy people like animes. Not all of them, but a lot. And I'm one of them. I grew up watching animes and reading mangas and it's really a big part of my life. And I got into dramas, K-dramas when I was a teenager and I really, really love it. It's still my favorite. It has a big part of my heart. And China, I love the light novels. I read any kind of light novels. I talk about fantasy, but I also love reading romance and thrillers too. I love reading any kinds I can find. And it inspires me a lot to draw in most of the fantasy. I'm not going to even try to pronounce it Yuxia, Shuhan, or Yuxia. I don't know how to say it. I probably to say it a lot wrong, this gender, Eastern fantasy, like they, they are putting out on the internet. Let's brush off the letter before we uh, talk about anything more. I don't have much to say about it, it just don't look like what I envisioned, but it's not bad and it just does there. <laughs> I do that a lot. I don't have much to talk about it, honestly speaking, but it's a good one, I think it's passable. About the tiger in the other hand, I really like it. The way I painted it, it looks really good. It could be 
a lot more bright than it is but the reason for it was because I had to tone down a lot of the stuff I painted so it would look a little bit more coherent but the paintwork really goes well with everything and it's really good if the first time I ever painted a tiger or ever drown a tiger in my life so how the way it end up I'm pretty proud and I'm going to try other positions and other ways to paint tigers and for the last one let's talk about the dancing girl well when I told you guys that I normally paint the skin colors first and the main subject of the painting first I had a reason for that I kind of end up really disappointed in the paint job I do if I do it later and this one was one of that she looks just just too flat for my tasting there is a lot of mistakes in there and it begins with my sketching work i did not make her dress right it should be flowy and i did it looking really puff and after painting and look at it right now it looks like a hanbok if you guys are on the craig drama sphere you know that hanbok is the, the traditional korean dress but I'm not drawing a Korean girl, I'm drawing a Chinese lady, a Chinese dancing lady and she does not look the type. This was a mistake. Onto the painting job, like I said, it looks flat. I like my painting to have more than one color, more than one tone in this. Like it looks more interesting having multicolored layers. And how I was painting it, and I'm not very sure of what I was doing. Like I said, you guys, I still did not find the best way for me to paint in clothes and look I've been watching videos and I still cannot absorb and turn into the way I wanted it to when painting clothes painting dress I have to study more about it and this painting shows that I have to also the skin tones in her does not which could have been better she should be the main attraction of this painting and sincerely there are a lot more interesting aspects in this painting that I want to look at and not look at her, it is sad. But like I said, I want to show you guys all my success and all my failures. Every person who paints have that and I'm still a student, I think a lot of artists see themselves as a student, so that's why I say again i don't know if i put this one in my piles of successive paint or if i put that on the failures now i ask you guys to answer that to me so i'm going to leave here we will see you in the next one we are going to be back in our color skin series and like this video subscribe and please 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 tell me your opinion in the comments below i want to really read about what you guys think and now you'll see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.